Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ardent viewers of RTN this is Abdi Ahmed Abdullahi welcoming you to the talking point well today my guest is Bobby Mkangi who is a constitutional expert and he was a member of the committee of experts that prepared the constitution of this country welcome to RTN thank you very much first things first yes. I mean eight years down the line we have this new constitution how do you feel today well uh Maybe now, I don't know whether we still call it new. Okay. Uh, you know, it was a baby. Uh -huh. I probably think we've winned it. Okay. Um, we've gone through two election cycles mm -hmm. uh, with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe now it's becoming uh, on the verge of becoming a teenager. Okay. Um, and how, how, how we are faring, you know, we have to look at the reasons why mm -hmm. uh, Kenyans uh, clamored for a new constitutional mm -hmm. dispensation. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there are various reasons, mm -hmm. uh, but you know the main pointers were around uh, sanitizing mm -hmm. uh, governance mm -hmm. uh, by, by 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 disrupting the the, 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 the system we had before, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we have new things uh, like uh, devolved government. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a more comprehensive uh, Bill of Rights okay. that includes social and, and economic mm -hmm. rights in mm -hmm. it. Uh, we have uh, a categorical uh, presidential system of government. Okay. And something very new also, uh, it's a paradox when you consider what is happening right now, okay. but Chapter 6, mm -hmm. uh, Leadership and Integrity. Mm -hmm. So all these uh, Kenyans clamored for uh, so that they could have a new way of governing mm -hmm. uh, themselves. Okay. Uh, over and above that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the constitu constitutions are agreements between you know people and, and those who govern them. Mm -hmm. um, that's where the contract, the social contract element, okay. comes into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of it, what people aspire for okay. is definitely an improvement mm -hmm. in their well-being, mm -hmm. in, the, in their lives, in their standards and quality of, mm -hmm. of, of life. So, are, are you uh, proud of the document? Uh, the, the document itself, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and, and proud of it in the sense that it was a people-generated document. Okay. Uh, uh, took many years. Mm -hmm. We have to go back to the journey where uh, Professor Guy and his team mm -hmm. uh, started. And even okay. before that, those who mm -hmm. clamored for exactly. change. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to pay due respect to them. So in that sense and the process that Kenyans used to, to, to come up with what we have today, I'm proud of it in that sense and, and, uh, and the content of it all. Okay. And also the fact that it tried at the end of the day to reach a balance mm -hmm. of, of the different voices around different things okay. that Kenyans wanted. Mm -hmm. When you look at devolution, you know, okay. there are those who wanted a, a very extreme uh, federal system, mm -hmm. there are those who did not want okay. uh, devolution at all. Okay. But what we have right now is almost a balance of, mm -hmm. of those two voices mm -hmm. uh, and in so many things. But I wanted to come to the point of I, I feel Kenyans will feel very disillusioned eight years down the line right okay. now because they wanted a new constitution so mm -hmm. that their lives would be improved. At okay. the end of all this, when you talk of devolution, when mm -hmm. you talk of presidential system, exactly. all these technicalities, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what a Kenyan wants to feel is that uh, he has uh, food on his table, okay. uh, her children are going to school, mm -hmm. they have good housing, mm -hmm. uh, they can go to a hospital and get drugs and okay. get medical uh, mm -hmm. services. Mm -hmm. uh, so these uh, tangibles okay. of life are mm -hmm really the brainchild or the philosophy of uh, the, the, the constitution. Okay. And so if Kenyans are not getting this, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't say that uh, we're on the right track okay. uh, of implementing uh, the dispensation. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Bobby Mkamgi, you, you've talked about, uh, I mean, devolution. Right now is like uh, uh, some politicians from mm -hmm. northern Kenya mm -hmm. are saying that uh, we would rather go federal. Mm -hmm. In fact, if, mm -hmm. I, if I may quote, uh, uh, the leader of majority, yes. Adam Duale, yes. than, you know, some of these uh, counties to be merged. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you digest that? It's a, it's, it's, it's a very complex issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we've had the debate about those who are saying mm -hmm. uh, the many, uh, the number of counties exactly. is probably mm -hmm. draining, uh, uh, a big, huge drain from public coffers, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think there's there's a sense that people need to understand how a constitution comes to being, okay. the aspects of consensus building, mm -hmm. uh, the aspects of uh, compromise mm -hmm. that came to be in that document. Okay. Uh, when you hear people 
talking or criticizing the constitution, rightly so, because it's their right, mm -hmm. but using uh, phraseology of this was a mistake, mm -hmm. that was wrong, mm -hmm. and not understanding that people actually sat together for many years mm -hmm. and, and negotiated uh, the chapters and the provisions. Mm -hmm. So if you wake up in the morning and you look at a, at a, at a, at a particular article or a chapter and you don't like it, mm -hmm. then don't think it's a mistake. It might be a mistake to you, but it's not a mistake to mm -hmm. another person. It's this uh, body of uh, articles okay. that makes Kenya, mm -hmm. because uh, we, when you come back to the issue of devolution, mm -hmm. there are those who feel Kenyan right now, okay. uh, as compared to uh, eight years ago, mm -hmm. uh, just because they have a county uh, that uh, bears a bearing to their identity, mm -hmm to their home, to their primordial feeling, and that's what brings them as Kenya. Uh, so uh, when we debate around these things, uh, we also have to understand the opportunity cost uh, that there is, uh, and not just the natural cost. Uh, when you tell some people that you want to reduce or to remove some of the counties, uh, to them, uh, that county is what makes them Kenyan. Okay. It's what makes them feel Kenyan. Okay. Uh, so um, I think people should uh, debate uh, around these issues with that understanding. Okay. Uh, there are many things that could be done mm -hmm. uh, to improve uh, the efficiency of running uh, these counties and the, and the national uh, government as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I do and I believe uh, and I do know uh, when we look at how we resource the counties, in terms of even human resourcing, mm -hmm. I think we could do it better. Uh, the, the, the double strings or streams that we have in national government okay. mm -hmm. officials mm -hmm. in the counties and county government officials in one county uh, doing the same thing, you know, an overlap of services, mm -hmm. I think that can be rationalized. Okay. I think some counties can share certain uh, you know, offices and, and certain mm -hmm. uh, functions. So if we sat down, uh, with the view of understanding mm -hmm. uh, and going back to the philosophy of why we have devolution okay. and what we can do, mm -hmm. uh, then I think we could come up with good ideas uh, as to how we could work uh, through this. And also, if we have to come to the debate around the boundaries and borders, okay. uh, maybe it's good to, to mention to your mm -hmm. viewers that mm -hmm. the, the 47 counties that we have right now, uh, mm -hmm. we as the Committee of Experts mm -hmm. and the Parliamentary Select Committee yeah. for uh, review of the constitution as mm -hmm. then was uh, mm -hmm. uh, headed by Honorable Abdi Kadir Mohammed Ab yeah. um, eventually arrived at the formulation of the 47 counties mm -hmm. but these were foundational okay. uh, uh, counties mm -hmm. to, to, to start off mm -hmm. uh, the system and that's why in the constitution there's also a provision that uh, allows ways of uh, reconsidering those okay. boundaries and numbers mm -hmm. so there's a formula there's a provision okay. and I would wish the, uh, and parliament has been given mm -hmm. uh, the mandate of uh, starting that process. Mm -hmm. And so I would wish if we really want to consider okay. uh, mm -hmm. devolution as is, mm -hmm. and in terms of the number of mm -hmm. counties, the boundaries and this, mm -hmm. we, we use that formulation in, okay. the, in the Constitution because it allows mm -hmm. all Kenyans okay. to provide their views. Mm -hmm. There are those who feel they want to hold on to the counties okay. that they have. Mm -hmm. There are those who feel mm -hmm. perhaps theirs could be much. Mm -hmm. And I think if a commission is set up as per Article 188 of the Constitution, okay. goes around the country, mm -hmm. collects the views of mm -hmm. Kenyans, mm -hmm. then we could have that consensus as to the numbers okay. and the structure of uh, devolution that uh, we might want if uh, this uh, one okay. is not working. Now, Kange, let's come to the current state of the nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've uh, mentioned about Chapter 6, I mean, leadership and mm -hmm. integrity. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, you know, runaway corruption in this country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when Jiku expected mm -hmm. that this document is going to have you know some sort of safety valves yes. or checks and balances yes. Eh? Yes. with all those constitutional commissions yes. yes what is not happening wow that's the the million dollar question mm -hmm. and, uh, the paradox of it all mm -hmm. when you have a document that talks about all these things mm -hmm. when even when you look at the governance structure mm -hmm. with the checking and the balancing mm -hmm. the separation of powers mm -hmm. the creation of independent uh, constitutional offices mm -hmm. including one that directly deals with ethics exactly and uh, anti-corruption, mm -hmm. uh, but as you put it, there's runaway corruption. Mm -hmm. I, I see several things in this. Okay. One, it might be, an, uh, it's, a, it's a slight uh, uh, gleam of hope um, in the sense that perhaps what is happening now is that um, it's getting harder. 
to run away with corruption. Okay. Uh, in terms of previously, mm -hmm. uh, we know these rackets used to happen mm -hmm. day in, day out. No, what, what exactly do you mean it's hard to run away the, with the corruption that, right now? That, that uh, the, the political formations, mm -hmm. the institutions that we have right okay. now, and perhaps even uh, aspects of the personalities running some of these institutions mm -hmm. are doing a better job of ensuring that uh, those who are corrupt are getting exposed. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, the deals that would uh, go unheard of, mm -hmm. uh, the, the rackets and mm -hmm. the scandals that uh, Kenyans would never get to hear about, mm -hmm. uh, now you find within a, a space of a year or two, mm -hmm. or at most three, uh, rackets are getting, uh, and scandals are getting but, but un Wanji, unraveled. But Wanjiku wants, wants to see someone going to jail, these exactly. big names. Okay. Exactly, and uh -huh. that's now I was coming to. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, we are at the point where um, the, 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 the rackets, the scandals are getting discovered. Okay. So we need to move to the next phase. Mm -hmm. We need to move to the phase where uh, those who are responsible for these rackets and these scandals mm -hmm. uh, are going to face the law, mm -hmm. but also face the law with the, with, with, with the, with the goal of ensuring that uh, we have successful mm -hmm. convictions against and actions against mm -hmm. these people so that it can send a message uh, to Wanjiko, but also people who hold these offices, who control some of these decisions and take advantage mm -hmm. uh, of them and, 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 and be corrupt and steal from uh -huh. the public. Mm -hmm. So I think to me that's what is happening, that we are moving from, from a stage where uh, we, the, systems, or the system was totally blind and deaf okay. to what was happening, mm -hmm. and now we have a bit of exposure mm -hmm. that uh, yes, you can co co get corrupt today, okay. but uh, Tomorrow or the day after, you'll get discovered. Now, what we need to do is, once you get discovered, mm -hmm. what are the consequences of it? Because I okay. think that's where we're still failing. Uh -huh. and, and still billions of money exactly. gets lost. I mean, it will, okay. will be mentioned. Uh -huh. Yes, it will be known that okay. you have participated mm -hmm. in a, a corrupt deal, mm -hmm. but nothing happens. Okay. So that part of nothing happens mm -hmm. is what now we need to deal with. We need to, to, to make sure we have a better system. Because right now, uh, we are still, unfortunately, beholden uh, to to the social, uh, mostly social political brackets uh, uh, yeah, that in fact, help people in fact you've run away from you've that. You've mentioned social political. Yes. I mean, how do you digest, you know, as a constitutional mm -hmm. expert, when mm -hmm. you see some politicians mm -hmm. poking holes into the integrity of the DCI, of the DPP, mm -hmm. of the EACC, mm -hmm. and still billions of shillings? are lost. Yes. I mean, people have, you know, offshore accounts. Uh, Wenjiku is tired. I mean, Wenjiku really wants to see, you know, uh, do you really buy the argument that justice in this country is for the rich while the law is for the poor? Well, uh, to some extent, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, and not in this country only. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the, 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 the corrupt elements or the corruption in this country is so much embedded uh, in the state okay. uh, because of, uh, you know, political entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and uh, it has a long history which we won't get into mm -hmm. exactly. in the sense of how uh -huh. the Kenyan state was created mm -hmm. as okay. an uh, exploitation mm -hmm. and uh, extraction entity mm -hmm. which we still hold on to. So how do we look at the state and especially how we mobilize politically? Uh, Abdi will, will get to be a, a player in the state, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps more so as an agent okay. of your family, where you come from, mm -hmm. uh, but you use the state to extract uh, okay. for your benefit benefit and mm -hmm. those, mm -hmm. um, and not to come to the state uh, to help the state grow uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the for the benefit okay. of the entire nation. Mm -hmm. And it goes again to the question of uh, whether we are a nation or not. Okay. So to me, there are very many crucial questions uh, mm -hmm. that we need to look at constitutionally, mm -hmm. uh, that perhaps, yes, we have a strong state mm -hmm. uh, we, in, in the sense of the the, the traditional technical elements that mm -hmm. are looked at to say this is a viable mm -hmm. state, it's a going concern. Okay. But in terms of what does that state exist for and for whom does it exist okay. for, mm -hmm. I think we are yet to find a good answer. And that's why the state mm -hmm. is still used as an instrument uh, of exploitation mm -hmm. and expropriation. Uh, okay. okay. And that's why those who come to the state 
uh, or become state officers, as the Constitution calls mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. unfortunately abuse uh, the state. Okay. And they, uh, because they're agents of uh, ex you know, extraction and mm -hmm. exploitation, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. not agents of uh, protecting the state for you know, a greater goal and a greater uh, polity, which is a nation. So I think that's where we are, that uh, we, we are probably getting it right in terms of uh, creating a strong entity of a state, okay. but the nation aspect of it is mm -hmm. what we are lacking. And that's why it's easy, okay. if I'm named in a scandal, mm -hmm. um, to confuse Kenyans okay. or to, 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 to mark the waters mm -hmm. in terms of uh, objective mm -hmm. uh, investigations okay. and, and, and other processes mm -hmm. around uh, what has happened. Mm -hmm. I, I simply uh, uh, draw the name my community, okay. my region, okay. and uh, I will have very many uh, backers from there, okay. and uh, those who will say uh, mm -hmm. it's a witch hunt, okay. or I'm being politically mm -hmm. uh, targeted, and things mm -hmm. like this. Okay. And so when it goes back to Wanjiko, mm -hmm. or Ratieno, and yeah, Afula, exactly. and, you know, mm -hmm. um, where we fail to have an objective mm -hmm. understanding of what corruption is mm -hmm. or what corruption mm -hmm. uh, or how it ought to be dealt with, okay. uh, that's where the failure comes. Mm -hmm. uh, go, go to the streets and the ongoing okay. corruption debates. Exactly. There are those who think it's witch hunt, political okay. witch hunt, uh -huh. and there are those who think it's objective, oh, okay. but it, be, be, it's be, very be, subjective. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, um, Kangi, be, be that as it may, mm -hmm. I mean, from your informed opinion, mm -hmm. Do you foresee in the near future, you know, uh, people falling from grace and uh, people going behind bars for this uh, grand corruption? I, I hope that will happen mm -hmm. um, to send a strong message. Okay. Um, uh, whether it will happen in the corridors of justice or in, in our courts, okay. uh, that might be a challenge mm -hmm. uh, um, going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's one, it's good that we are seeing more personalities being charged okay. uh, with the with, uh, different you know, elements of mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. corruption. Mm -hmm. um, but whether that will stand the test of going through the entire process mm -hmm. and people getting convicted, mm -hmm. some have been, okay. uh, but I'm sure Kenyans are looking for that big name, that uh -huh. big personality. Exactly. Uh, that might be a challenge because of the nature of corruption. One. Then, then how, 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 how do, uh, so, so mm -hmm. sorry to inter interject, mm -hmm. how do we digest eh? mm -hmm. when the president of the country mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. if the judiciary is not going to do its mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. then I'll call upon the citizenry mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. do this job, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then people say, you know, when someone talks in his mother tongue, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he comes out so passionately. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other day he was saying that uh, you'll see big names very mm -hmm. soon, mm -hmm. and don't think that this microphone is going to help you. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was talking to other politicians, mm -hmm. and uh, as early as yesterday, he says, I mean, if you think that I have stolen, go to the DCI. Yes. I mean. All these things, and then people, do you find, uh, I mean, that the president has that resolve of fighting corruption, or some quarters find him to be a lame duck president? And uh, hold on the heels of what I was saying mm -hmm. um, just now, in terms of uh, those names will fall, mm -hmm. and we hope they fall sooner than later. Okay whether they're going to fall through the legal channels, mm -hmm. and I was saying maybe that's why we might have a challenge because of the technicalities, mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Uh, when people get corrupt and steal, we know white collar stealing is very technical. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the paper trail might be hard to to get all the time. Okay. But there are also other ways of fighting corruption. Mm -hmm. There's a political mm -hmm. uh, uh, way of doing it. Mm -hmm. And so that's where leadership comes in. Uh, that's where when the president uh, talks the way he's talking, mm -hmm. uh, that needs to be followed up uh, with action. Okay. Because a lot of this corruption is also happening administratively. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if the, the president, for instance, wakes up and sacks senior, you know, mm -hmm. uh, officials, okay. uh, cabinet secretaries, mm -hmm. principal secretaries, and, mm -hmm. and, and the likes, mm -hmm. uh, because he has the ability to mm -hmm. do so, uh, it sends a message uh, to the other systems also. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we, we've seen political leaders who've okay. taken up corruption or uh, uh, such uh, issues in other when you, when you think of uh, Ted uh, Roosevelt okay. in the US yeah. at the beginning of uh, yeah. the past century mm -hmm. when he took on the, the robber barons okay. uh, taking a political stand mm -hmm. and saying that in as much as 
the, 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 the Congress was creating laws mm -hmm. and, and the courts were trying to deal with it, but mm -hmm. there was also political leadership okay. uh, through action, through mm -hmm. messages. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you suck people who've mm -hmm. been mentioned, you don't wait. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been mentioned, I have the, the ability to, 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 if you don't step aside, mm -hmm. I can help you step aside. Okay. I think th th such actions send a strong message. So the rhetoric and the polemics right now mm -hmm. are good and uh, they send some sense of hope, but if they could be followed mm -hmm. with some stern categorical mm -hmm. uh, uh, political action, okay. then that can really, really help the legal aspects of it. Uh, let's also not forget our social, about our social uh, cultural uh, structures, okay. uh, our churches, mm -hmm. uh, our mosques, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and other uh, you know spaces, public spaces okay. mm -hmm. where we discuss our moral, ethical uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, brackets mm -hmm. and issues. Uh, what what work are they doing? You know. Uh, how much are we being told if I go to church on, 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 on Saturday or Sunday, if I go to the mosque on Friday or every day? Uh, how much am I hearing mm -hmm. about uh, 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 the, the, the wrongness okay. of uh, corruption, mm -hmm. the wrongness of stealing exactly. uh, from my spiritual leaders? Mm -hmm. uh, because that's where it starts. Mm -hmm. In our homes, okay. uh, what are we talking about mm -hmm. as couples, okay. uh, as families, mm -hmm. as as, as as, uh, what are we teaching our children? Mm -hmm. So all this has to bear mm -hmm. um, on how we as a country, and that's why I was talking about the issue of the nation, okay. uh, because it's the nation that determines the state okay. and the quality of state. Exactly. Uh, and the nation determines the quality of politics okay. uh, and the brackets of politics. Mm -hmm. So if we are getting it wrong at uh, the soul aspects, the mm -hmm. polity aspects, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm from the family, exactly. from the, the, the faith institutions, mm -hmm. uh, from the marketplace mm -hmm. and all these other places, mm -hmm. then we do not expect the state to, to really get it right, uh, the political uh, apparatuses to really get it right. Because okay. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. how the nation or the soul of the nation, mm -hmm. uh, the stand that it mm -hmm. takes, if it's divided, and we have seen it, it's very divided right mm -hmm. now, it's not objective, it's very subjective, okay. then the state uh, processes will forever get defeated. Okay, uh, Bobby, now let's come to the um, ripple effects of mm -hmm. the handshake between uh, mm -hmm. President Uhuru Kenyatta and mm -hmm. Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. I mean, from your informed opinion, do yes. you find things to be busting at the seams between the president and his deputy? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Jubilee as an entity? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think we, 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 we can judge that from their, their, their own rhetoric, mm -hmm. their behavior. Okay. We've had... Uh, uh, those from uh, the deputy president's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, formation of uh, political mm -hmm. formation, if I might call it, mm -hmm. um, you know, stating it as so mm -hmm. that uh, since the the handshake, they feel that they have been sidelined okay. or they are getting sidelined mm -hmm. by the other half, mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, jubilee. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is not even for us to. To, to to speculate okay. or uh, it has come from their mouths mm -hmm. you know they have termed it and they okay. have said unfortunately mm -hmm. um, handshake politics mm -hmm. uh, has been uh, to a disadvantage of the status quo mm -hmm. and the political vision okay. uh, that they had mm -hmm. um, and to me and it's it's quite unfortunate uh, in the sense that uh, the handshake mm. uh, and from the two uh, gentlemen, the, the, the uh, Honorable President, His Excellency the President, mm -hmm. and the Right Honorable uh, former Prime Minister, okay. mm -hmm. uh, when they shook hands mm -hmm. and made their statements mm -hmm. to Kenyans, mm -hmm. uh, I think the carry home uh, term was unity, okay. uh, national unity, mm -hmm. uh, because you remember exactly. what, the yeah. precursor mm -hmm. to that, mm -hmm. the antecedents. Mm -hmm. Um, and so in, in implementing mm -hmm. uh, the handshake, the nine points, the building bridges okay. aspects, mm -hmm. we, uh, for me, I unfortunately see it uh, that it probably took care or it's taking care of the issues that were uh, prior 
to the past election. Okay. The political forces that were not seeing eye to eye mm -hmm. uh, are probably now seeing eye to eye okay. through this handshake. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, it's creating disunity okay. uh, and it's creating uh, um, an environment uh, that will still not be good okay. uh, for Kenya going to the next elections mm -hmm. if nothing is done between now and then. Okay. So it helped and is helping to probably heal the wounds coming from uh, the past election and things that were, okay. the antecedents that mm -hmm. were, mm -hmm. but it's creating and unraveling uh, new wounds as okay. we're heading there. Mm -hmm. So something needs to be done mm -hmm. uh, between now and then that okay. the handshake for the for the handshake and the politics okay. of it all to be inclusive, okay. to bring in all the players, okay. to be uh, non-partisan. Uh, I think th that's what is important. Okay. Th th thanks a lot, Bobby Mkangi. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, uh, dear viewers, that was uh, Bobby Mkangi, who was a member of the Committee of Experts that uh, prepared the new constitution or the teenage constitution, as you put it. You've been watching The Talking Point. I'm Abdi Ahmed Abdullah telling you, keep it RTN for inspired viewing.